What's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media bringing you another Dokkan battle video. So today we are showcasing the one and only Space Australian Jace. And for those of you who are confused about why we call him that, it's basically because he's voiced by what's probably a non-Australian guy or maybe an actual Australian guy doing an Australian accent on the Team 4 Star parody of Dragon Ball Z. And if you guys haven't checked that out yet, it's really, really funny. So definitely go watch it when you have some time. But anyways, this is Jace. He's rainbowed. We did it on the live stream. Shout out to everyone that was on the stream, by the way. It was a lot of fun. Tomorrow is our last stream for the Ginyu Force. And we're going to be rainbowing Raccoon and also getting the LR Ginyu Goku. I'm so hyped, guys. Hope you guys are excited as well. But make sure you jump in where you can. Probably going to be around 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is the start time. I'll let you guys know in the community post for YouTube or on my Instagram at Tiger Uppercut Media. Now, let's take a look at Jace. These are his stats. They're okay. Again, he's a free-to-play unit, so can't expect too much from that. His leader skill is very mediocre, but we're not using his, him as a leader ever. His super attack is Crusher Ball, causes supreme damage to enemy, and raises attack by 20% for one turn. So, a little bit useless because you're probably not going to be running him in the first slot on most teams. His passive is really, really good though. It's uh, extreme allies, key plus two, attack plus 20%. That's where the support part comes from. But the more interesting part is that he can foresee enemy super attack. So he can tell you when an enemy is about to super and it'll allow you to react to it by using an item or putting a specific character that tanks in front of it. So really, really good there. And uh, it's gonna help a lot on like Super Battle Road or some of the harder Dokkan events like UI Goku or whatever. Now, his hidden potential, I went with crits and additionals. It's totally up to you if you want to do dodge or whatever, but I think they can still do some decent damage on a Ginyu team, and having those crits and additionals will help squeeze out a little bit more damage from the team overall. His link skills are, you know, more like Ginyu Force-centric as the other ones have been, but he does have Shattering Limit, which is okay, and then he has Flea and Brainiacs. Flea, which is probably the worst link in the entire game right now, gives you key plus one when HP is 30% or below. This is awful, awful. It doesn't activate until you're almost dead and also only gives you one key, so... I, there's probably not a worse link out there. Now, look at all these characters we can link with as well. There's nothing... Just for some reason, these, uh... The, the base for Mighty Mask, LR, and also the TUR version of him have the as well. I don't know why, but anyways, it is what it is. This is the team we're taking, Extreme STR, led by Janemba. Shout out to my boy, AC Gaming Anthony, by the way, for putting his rainbow. Janemba as a leader for me so I can do the showcase. Go check out his YouTube channel if you haven't yet. It's called AC, just the letters, and then gaming. So yeah, thank you, Anthony. You're the man. You're our true friend. Thank you so much. Let's just jump into it. We brought some healing items. We brought some, uh, what do you call it? The damage reduction items. And also the Deborah cookie, of course, because we want to see some of that nuking damage. Or maybe not, because yesterday <laughs> when I brought the Deborah cookie and I used at least my first one, Literally nothing changed. I didn't even know that was possible. Not a single orb changed on the board, so basically it's just a wasted cookie. Hopefully that doesn't happen again today. But uh, we are doing the LR Gogeta event, so I'm gonna be a little bit safer uh, because I don't want I, I, I don't want to I don't want to die in the middle of the showcase like I did before. So um, we're gonna be safe. We're gonna bring the healing items and all that stuff. All right, so let's get into it. Here is. The first rotation, we got Jace in the first rotation, which is fantastic, but we don't have the Hoi with him, which is ideal because they have Brainiacs linked together, which is attack and defense plus 10%. And they also happen to share Flea, which I hope they don't have to activate because <laughs> that would mean we're almost dead. Here we go. Um, so no links here, but at least we can get Jace's super attack off. And as you can see, the Gogeta, he has these like circles around his character, like there's no bubble here, right? So if they're grayed out, it means that they're not going to super attack, but if it's red, it means they will super attack. So um, it looks like there's not going to be any supers, and we're going to just go with this. I don't think it really matters too much. All right. Let's see how much you can tank this attack for. Okay, 9k. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. It looks like all these Game Force members can tank at least a little bit. Um, Jace, 327k. Type advantage, of course, but still, that's not bad. Not bad for someone that's known as a support unit, right? Oh my god. <laughs> and there's Anthony's, um, his, his Janemba creating for 3.5 million damage. Wow, that's, that's insane. So what we're going to do now is put Hoi in the end because we want Link, want him to link up with Ho with, uh, with, with himself. No, want him to link up with Jace at some point in the showcase. So I'll put him there. Um, let's go with a, mm, I'm going to do no supers off with Broly, mainly because I don't want him to be killing 
um, <laughs> Vegito or Gogeta too quick because we want to get some more attacks off with Jace and see what he can do. Decent damage number from a normal attack from Roly. He is a monster, of course. Okay, so he took that attack for 41k while our boy Jace actually uh, only took it for... Um, what, like 9k or something like that? So that's pretty insane. And also Broly does decrease his own defense, but that's only when he supers. That's only when he supers. And I just realized that Janemba actually gets a special boost on this event. It looks like... maybe? Does he? Uh, I can't tell anymore. Okay. But he, his, his thing, when his passive came up, it was in orange, right? So usually that means that they do get some special boost. Maybe that's why my friends Janemba did so much damage. I don't know. But okay, here we go, here we go. Um, yeah, so Broly didn't lose any defense, he didn't super, yet he still took the attack for 41k. Of course, it was a super attack. <laughs> I don't know what to believe, it. what to think anymore, it doesn't matter. Here we go. Um, yeah, okay, Janemba definitely seems like he does get a boost. You know what, I kind of want to get the super attack off right now with Broly, because I want to see how much damage he can do while linked with the TUR Broly, so we're going to just go for it. And like he's gonna be de dead anyways by the end of this turn because there's three people attacking him and even if they all didn't normal attacks they'll probably kill him so we're just gonna go with it just gonna go with it let's go 951k all right and we're gonna get 918k damage of course um, he does the double super if the guy had more HP so it could have been close to two million with a crit like 2.5 something like that so yeah Broly is a beast guys don't don't sleep on Broly. I mean, I don't think there's a lot of people that do sleep on Broly, but, you know, just, just for those people that don't see the value of Broly as much outside of World Tournament, he is awesome outside of World Tournament, too. He doesn't just do World Tournament. Here we go. Um, this is the optimal kind of link setup for Jace right now because he has Jace with him. They get 10% from the Brainiacs one, and also they boost each other with their passives. So, okay. Um, oh, okay, Jace is going to get super now. Let's see what he takes. Broly took 41k and Jace is gonna take 51k. Okay, so it only takes a little bit more damage, a little more damage than Broly, which is actually very, very impressive considering Broly has a much higher defense, right? And we're gonna get a little. I actually never seen that super attack before. I've never used Hoi, because I only use Hoi right now for the showcase. Before this, I've never used Hoi in my life. So it's kind of cool to see a super attack like that. He goes upside down, shoots you with the lightning. Nice. Now we're on the final stage of the fight, I believe. Here we go. And um, we're, we might have to heal up. I think we're going to heal up. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to die here. So let's 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 use a Sendu Bean. And I'm going to try not to get these guys super attacked off either because we want to see Jace at least use one Nibura cookie. And hopefully have it do something. <laughs> Please, Dokkan gods, don't do that to me again. That was not nice. All right. Um... It'd be nice to actually see when the super is coming on this stage because he does do quite a bit of damage. So, I, you know, it would be nice to know when to use uh, Icarus or when to heal up. But I think we'll be okay here. And of course, Janemek got the dodge off, so it's all good. Okay, Jace, show us. Show us some nice things with this Deboro cookie. Boom, boom. Come on, come on. Change some orbs, please. Wow. Okay, that, that just made up for it. <laughs> that just made up the last video. Here we go. Boom. Oh wow. Okay, so um, instead of changing nothing, it changed the whole board this time, <laughs> which is fantastic. And Jace has a 792 attack stat, and he cr hits for 625k. He hasn't. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. I wasn't paying attention, but he he must have shown. His passive- oh wow, okay. His passive must have showed me that he was gonna super, but I didn't pay attention to it. So if you guys were paying attention to playing your game instead of making a video at the same time, then you would have known and you would have done something. But actually, um, he just tanked that super from LR Gogeta for 50k. So I didn't have to worry about it too much actually, but wow, I was not expecting that. Okay, here we go. Um, don't get your supers off guys, please, but let's use a Senzu Bean again because we want to see a little bit more Jace from this showcase. Next one, I won't use a Deborah Cookie, uh, but I do really hope that he gets a super off. No, not a super off. I do hope that he gets a crit or additional off because that'd be nice to see. But anyways, you guys already see the utility of Jace. You already see that he can tank okay. Like, for a free-to-play unit, 
He can actually do some nice tanking. He can uh, do some okay damage, and he'll do even more damage on the Ginyu Force team. And last but not least, that Scouter, that Scouter effect is really, really cool. It looks like on this turn, there will be no super attacks, so we don't have to worry about those. Um, let's just go with a regular super attack from Jace. Gonna go with, what, well, I guess no super attack from uh, Hoi, and then we're gonna super with the Janemba, my friend Anthony, AC Gaming's Rainbow Janemba, which could actually finish off this stage. Can we get a crit, please? No crit, can we get an additional? No, no additional, okay. That's fine, that's fine. It's okay, it's okay. I've already seen good, good enough things from Jace to tell me that he is good enough to fit on this, um, what do you call it, this extreme SDR team. I'll probably actually have him on my extreme SDR team because I am missing a few units from here. And uh, he'll stay there until we get the LR Frieza, which the campaign should be here sometime in the near future. I don't know, maybe a couple months or less. I don't know the exact timeline. People ask me questions about, you know, when do you think these campaigns are gonna come out? Well, when do you think this banner is gonna come out? Like the Fusions banner or whatever? I'm like, guys, I, I don't know. I can only know within like a week in advance at most maybe when the data miners or, you know, the people who get the leaks release that information. But personally, I don't have any inside information. So it's really hard for me to answer a lot of those questions. But I do think that the Frieza campaign should be coming fairly soon because it did come fairly soon after the Guinea Force team was released on JP. So that is something, definitely something to look forward to. Let us use another Jabura cookie, get another nuke off with our boy Jace. Nice, very nice. I, I, I like that. And then we're gonna end off the video, finish off the stage, and then call it a day. And then, you know, Hopefully, oh nice! We also got the Dokkan attack off with Jace too. That's awesome, that's awesome. I, I love to end the video off like that, come on. Let's get all of these, let's not screw up. We are three for three right now. One, two, three. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys saw that, right? That was really fast, that was not my fault. <laughs> that, they, oh, they were like, yo, you think you're gonna go perfect five for five with the Ginyu Force showcases? Nah, nah, we're gonna screw you up on your fourth one with Jace. But anyways, it should still be something nice here. Some nice damage, 863k. And maybe Hoi will finish off the showcase, who knows? Here we go. I, I guess not. <laughs> Janemba should do it though. Janemba should definitely do it. Come on. Come on, Janemba. Man, I wish that was a crit and I wish I didn't miss those two nodes. But you know what? I tried my best. There's nothing I could do about it. It was too fast for me. Especially on camera. I get nervous, you know? And uh, I'm sorry, guys. I let you down. But you know what? You still saw some nice numbers. You still saw what Jace can do. And if you do need some subs for your extreme SDR team, definitely throw Jace on there because he is fantastic, even on this team, and even better on the Gaming Force team, as you will see tomorrow in my showcase. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the showcase of Jace the Straight the Space. Jace the Strace, Jace the Space Australian. Wow, that is not easy to say. And uh, yeah, if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if you are watching my videos for the first time, first time to the channel, you'd like to see, then maybe, just maybe, hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. But as always, hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.